Hello everyone and welcome to the Deep House. Hi, my name is Philip um, and welcome to episode one of uh, my new uh, my YouTube channel called The Deep House. Uh, what I'm going to be attempting to do um, is movie reviews. Uh, this is my very first time. I've never done a YouTube video before. Um, so um, I'd love, thank you for taking the time to uh, join me. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, and there are much more qualified people who can do uh, movie reviews. And this is my uh, attempt. All right. So today's uh, movie that I'm going to be reviewing is called Shadow in the Clouds. It stars our very favorite hit girl, Chloe Grace Morris. Uh, it's directed by first time feature film director Roseanne Liang, and the script has been written by Max Landis uh, and Roseanne Liang. Uh, so, what's this film all about? It's actually set in 1945. Um, it, uh, the premise or the, the location of the film starts is in Auckland, New Zealand, if I remember. In, uh, sorry, not 1945, 1943, if I remember correctly. And uh, Chloe Grace Morris plays uh, a World War II uh, fighter uh, pilot. And uh, uh, we see that she's actually on a top secret mission. Um, uh, she, throughout the film, you can see her holding on to, uh, uh, she's got something very sensitive, something very uh, important uh, in a kind of attache briefcase. Um, and they never let on exactly what this mission is all about. So the only thing is that she needs to go uh, leave the place where she is in urgently. So she hops on uh, a transport kind of military plane um, uh, filled with uh, other soldiers, other army personnel, uh, air force personnel. Uh, they don't know specify in the film. Um, and then basically she, uh, while uh, being transported, um, she comes across or she faces unusual circumstances. I know I'm being vague, uh, but if, if you've seen the trailer, then it technically spoils everything. My uh, recommendation is just avoid the trailer completely and just go blind. Uh, did I like the film? Oh, I'm telling you, I love this film. A lot of reviews, online reviews and all that completely trash this film, um, but I loved it. And the reason why is I totally get what the director was going for. Uh, Roseanne Liang went for a, I have to say, a, it, it completely, um, it's action oriented, the action sequences are insane, uh, they defy the laws of physics, gravity, stuff like that. And I, I went with it. I totally understand that this was just to have fun, leave your brains at the door kind of movie. Please do not, um, my recommendation in order to enjoy this film is just do not question what you're seeing. Just, just go with it. The moment you question it, you'll, you'll just pull yourself out of the film and just diminish your enjoyment. Um, my, I, and uh, that's what I enjoy. There's some things that do not make sense. And uh, there were times when I had to catch myself, no, that's not happening. But I had to stop myself and I enjoyed it. it it's, it's, it's really good. It, it's totally insane. What did I not like in the film? Now look, this is a, this is a B movie film. Um, it, it it clearly was a women's empowerment film, um, and Chloe Grace Moritz really did well in the film. I really love this actress um, in technically everything that she does. She's very uh, good uh, in this film, um, and I think there needs to be a sequel to Hit Girl because she's in action mode again. And she brings that gravitas of, you know, don't mess with me kind of uh, situation. Alternatively, uh, the men in this film were very one note. There wasn't, uh, there wasn't much character development. Uh, they're all one note kind of misogynist uh, kind of men. Um, uh, and uh, I understand it's in the time period and uh, men behave like that, I believe. Uh, but it would have been better just to be uh, you know, uh, uh, this is my advice for Roseanne. Just try to give equal attention to uh, the main male characters in the film, and let if uh, if uh, Chloe is undergoing a character is undergoing a character development and the, the journey for her, it would have been good to see uh, 
equal representation. But I've seen a lot of online reviews saying that this is a, a men hating film. I don't see that, but I can understand where they're coming from. So just a little bit of equal representation there. Um, um, and so uh, in um, in conclusion, uh, I have to say for everyone who enjoys uh, simple, uh, mindless action entertainment, uh, this is a movie for you. Uh, please go ahead. Um, this film is currently available only on iTunes in Canada, and maybe it should be coming on other platforms. Uh, so my rating for this film, is, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. All right, everyone. So this was my first review. Uh, I, I would really love to have your feedback on uh, what I can do uh, better. Uh, if there's any other movie you would like me to comment and review on, I'm going to put all my handles down in the description below. And just like how much better people who come before me and do movie reviews, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and uh, catch you on the next one. Take care. Have fun. Thank <laughs> you.